Around the world, nature seems to be under threat, and uh, that includes all of its creatures. Cindy and I have been very lucky that we keep coming across strange and unusual creatures like these alligator lizards. And I say these because it appears that there's a breeding pair by Cindy's mom's home in Christina Lake, British Columbia. And this breeding pair bred successfully and had babies. We ended up finding alligator lizards this year like you wouldn't believe. As a matter of fact, I didn't even realize we had lizards in British Columbia. I knew we had some turtles and snakes, but lizards, and yes, there are lizards, and uh, the babies are around, and we found them in the basement, in the garage, and I can only hope that they will be around for generations to come. Okay, we've got a little lizard in the house. One of the babies of the alligator lizards, somehow or rather, is inside very fast hard to catch oh. <laughs> I got him in here oh he can get through any little crack <gasps> Dang. Oh, he's in your camera. <laughs> Good, you got him. Take him out. <laughs> Come show mom. Be careful though, because they jump. Yeah. So maybe do that. The last time one jumped out on me. Do you want me to hold the camera? Huh? Yeah? Careful, he'll jump. He's going to jump. <laughs> there we go. You should have a lid. This paper. Right here. Okay, this was an exciting event. <laughs> but we did catch the little lizard. Can you expose him to me? Well, let's see. He could go out here. Into I the bushes. Come up okay. First, that's alright. We caught your cat. Had your share of pets this year, Mom. <laughs> there it is. A little baby alligator lizard. We're going to let him go. And he's just the cutest little guy. Caused a lot of excitement downstairs. Hey, baby. Little baby. Alligator lizard found him downstairs wandering around. Can you put your hand down a bit more? A little bit more? Perfect. We found him wandering around downstairs and he is so cute. About how long is he? Uh, the body is maybe two inches, maybe, but the tail is probably about three and a half, four inches. Tail oh. is way longer than his body. <laughs> and he jumps. <laughs> hey. Oh, there he goes. That's where he lives. Yeah. <laughs> Joe was looking for him. Joe. Poor Joe. Joe was looking for this little guy the whole time he was here. So he's moved into the garage, I guess, to get some cool... <laughs> Yeah, you can see him panting, Mum. You can what? He's, it's almost like he's panting. He's hot. Yeah. I, uh, I can't come over and see him because I'm not tied up properly. Okay, that's fine. He's moving a bit now. There he is. I think it's called an alligator lizard or something like that. He's pretty small though. This guy's only about maybe 
four inches from head to foot. Foot. <laughs> Hey buddy, not sure how I'm going to get you out of here. I hope that British Columbia continues to have some sound and strong conservation because in many areas development and growth seems to have taken over everything and if in a specific area people don't know what kind of creatures exist it's easy to wipe them out even before you you know that they're there I mean it's not done on purpose but you move into some of the areas start bulldozing knocking down trees and you don't know what is lost and once it's lost it's gone for good uh, the alligator lizards are around Christina Lake and I hope that construction and developments keep that in mind.